All right, thank you so much, Daniel. All right, it is Friday. A lot of you are going to be heading to the movie theaters this weekend, and this movie has intrigued me. Um, the previews of it, I think, look really fascinating. So we had to send our Leo Smith to see. <laughs> Everybody loves a great love story, but was this love story too complicated for the average viewer? Um, <laughs> what, you, what do you think of Love, Simon? Uh, you know, first off, I got to say, you, you ladies make me feel like a giant among leprechauns <laughs> I know. this morning. We have yes. that effect on people, uh, yes. Daniel Bonds has that effect on me, too. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say how to tall he was. Right. Yeah. We're keeping that a secret. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, you're right. I, I, I wanted to prove how open I am with my choice in movies. So yes, I wanted to go see Love, Simon. Um, I like to give everything a chance. You know, it, it's one of those things for me, I always feel like as long as they can tell a story well, hmm. you can, yeah. you can uh, uh, appeal to anybody. And the more you think about it, the fact that they are making a movie about a, a young gay man for mainstream audiences, the target audience really is uh, the straight crowd. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. who they're going for. So will it appeal to you? Let's take a look. Simon Spear leads a pretty normal life. He's got a wonderful family and reliable friends, but he's also got a secret. Nobody knows I'm gay. <sighs> okay, a big secret. He would love to talk about it, but with who? Fortunately, he runs across someone online who is going through the same experience. Their emails inspire one another and become the highlight of each other's day. Both are aware that they attend the same school, but still don't know the other's identity. Simon's nom de plume is Jacques, while his new friend simply goes by Blue. Now Simon is curious about every guy he encounters in the hall. Is Blue someone in his inner circle or someone he's never met? Whatever the case, he's clearly falling for this mystery man. But secrets seldom stay secret in the digital age, and when someone forgets to log out of a computer, private information can go public very quickly and create a lot of fallout. Love, Simon has plenty of funny moments, but it seems to work best when it's not trying so hard to be funny. Most of the characters are relatable, while a few are way too over the top. Good morning, Creekwood Hall. Still, it's a strong piece of work that everyone can enjoy despite their own beliefs and preferences. And if there's a question of discretion, fear not. Other than some frank sexual discussion and teen partying, there's very little to object to. I don't know if the Lee Moji was gay about it, but he was happy enough to give it a smile. Love is a pretty strong word, but I think you'll surely like Love, Simon. <laughs> so you would like to change the title to Like Simon. <laughs> that, I, I think it would probably be more appropriate. Um, it was a very good movie. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, there were a few characters, though, that character specifically there, the vice principal, played by Tony Hale, way too over the top. Just being way extra, too much. yeah. And um, also the, the guy who played the, the lead in the school play, way too much on these characters that uh, they really weren't believable mm -hmm. and that was what frustrated me because the rest of the characters were very much mm -hmm. like people Decent you know. Yeah. 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 Um, now, so did he ever get to meet okay. Blue? Oh well. I, you I, can't tell us I'm that! Not, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I think you already know the answer to that. I'm Come hoping on. yes. You, <laughs> <that's> okay. what, <laughs> they wouldn't make the movie if, if he, he never didn't. got to meet yeah, Blue. I don't know, I've oh, seen some very unsatisfying movies.